Yeah, okay, that was that was an intro that I felt like doing. So yeah, that was fine. Okay, so this is another NU battle. Um, I got my my guts ursaring, my uh, kind of lead electrode. I guess it's kind of a lead. Um, I got my physically defensive Garbodor. Got my especially defensive Dragonair. I got my prankster Murkrow, and I got a mixed Embor. And yeah, I think this is an okay game. I think I'm a some good plays, so yeah, let's get started. Um, okay, I lead off with my triangle because I don't see any reason not to. I think he's gonna set up stealth rocks here, so I just go for the thunderbolt. Then I'm like, wait, this thing could have earthquake, and you know what? It does have earthquake, and so triangle gets his shit pushed in sideways. Um, he loses one, but I'm like, you know what? I have waterfall on this regal dude, and so I just waterfall him, and he's dead. And so next, he brings in this basculin. I'm like, okay, he obviously has a nice time move, he goes for the ice beam. It doesn't do that much because I'm max HP, max special defense, and that thing doesn't have too good special attack. And so I just go for the Thunder Wave because I know that thing's fast as fuck. Um, he uses Ice Beam again. I'm like, you know what, just get out of here. I use Dragon Tail. Um, he, go into his Charizard. I'm not worried because just because I'm max special defense. Go for the Thunder Wave. I'm living that Air Slash. For, it only does 20 something percent, so I just go for the rest. And, you know, he's fucked. So, yeah, he gets paralyzed and. I get the shed skin just to kind of rub it in, and you know, I can stay in here all day and just waterfall him because I got super effective and he can't really do too much to me because he's slower so he can't flinch me with air slash. And so, yeah, I'm just like, you know what, I'm going to keep waterfalling you, dude. So, yeah. And then I just go for another one and he's dead. And so, what does he bring in next? I think he brings in his fucking, yeah, his um, muck. And so I just, like, I'm going to paralyze you because. I feel like he probably has like the ice punch and he does, but I live it because I'm max HP and I'm a beast and I EV light and shit like that. So I go into my Garbodor, he's probably going to ice punch again, but he gets paralyzed, so that's like, it's not a big deal. Um, I take this time to set up my first layer of spikes, that's really going to be the only layer I get, so the the psychic's ridiculously obvious, so I just go into my Murkrow, and yeah, I take that of course because I'm immune. Um, I'm like, you know, I'm going to paralyze this thing because this thing's fast as fuck too. And I got Prankster, and so I automatically go first. Um, he goes for Hidden Power. I'm assuming Fighting. I don't know why. I guess that's probably his only other attacking move. Let's go for the Brave Bird. Uh, it does take him down to a Sash. Um, he goes for another Hidden Power. I'm like, you know what? I might as well just finish you off with the Brave Bird. And I do, obviously. And so now he brings in this Grand Ball. I'm like, I don't even know what this thing does, honestly. He doesn't intimidate, but I don't really care. I wasn't trying to kill him, so I was just like, I'm going to roost to see what he does. Probably should have paralyzed him on this play, and he just wrecks me with a double edge. Like, oh god, that's that's just not okay. So I, I just go into my mystery, and I know I can take whatever he wants to throw at me, so I just go for the gunk shot, he goes for the double edge. Does a, it does a lot, honestly, but he kills himself from recoil, so yeah, that was that's pretty cool. Um, brings in his dude, I have Seed Bomb just for the lulls, and it really helps for me right here. Just because a lot of people send in water ground type moves on this, like, types on this guy, so I just like having the seed bomb to wreck them if they're not aware. And so, I can't really do anything to this guy besides rock blast, so I go for it and I miss. He sets up a curse, I'm like, oh crap, I do not want him to get a ton of curses, because he's probably like poison jab, ice punch, like, brick break, and shadow sneak, I think. So, he, I guess he predicts this or something, and he goes for the ice punch and kills me. Not a big deal, honestly, because I didn't really need my Regal for this guy, because I couldn't really do anything, because I can't phase him out, because he only has one more poke. And this is the only poke he has. So I go for the Facade. I don't have Swords Dance on this guy. I have Protect. So I, I would have Swords Dance there if I had it, but I don't. So he sets up another Curse. I'm like, you know, it's not a big deal, because I got the Flame or Guts boosted or Shrink. Go for the Facade. A plus two defense. Muck, it doesn't take that well at all. I live the poison jab after plus two, which is kind of surprising, and the burn too. He goes for the shadow sneak, I'm immune, and you know, I kill him with another facade. Probably should have went for like the crunch or something for style points, but you know, whatever. Sign with me, so yeah, this was a decent game. Um, hopefully I get some more up like later in the week, maybe. But yeah, um, tell me what you thought about the, the intro I made. It, it took me about like 20 minutes to make, but... You know, I liked it. So, yeah, I remember this is DWTV 2010, and see you next episode.